Hi and welcome to website design. In today's lesson we're going to talk about JavaScript and Google Charts to display data on our web page. Now back in the day when everything started um, it was very um, difficult and not just difficult it was time consuming to create charts and display mechanisms to display our data on a web page because not a lot of libraries existed and it didn't look very good. But a lot of advancements have been made and Google actually opened a library for us that we can go and use to go and display data in a very nice manner. And this library we can use to go and display data in different formats. So let's go and have a look. So if we go to um, the Google chart website, so it's at developers.google.com forward slash chart, you will see there's a Google chart library here. And as you can see here, we can go and display the data on different types of charts. Now, if we click on more, there's a chart gallery and in this chart gallery you can see there's geo charts, scatter, histograms, area charts, pie charts, bubble charts, there's also gauges, timelines and tables. So you can go and display any sort of data on um, these um, different charts. So how would we go and implement this in our website? So what, what's nice about Google, they give you a lot of examples as well. Let's say we're going to go and display a pie chart. So let's go down here and you will see pie chart on the left hand side. So if you click on pie chart, your pie chart um, example will open. And this is the pie chart. As you can see, there's also a little bit of interactivity there. So you, if you slide your mouse over it, it gives you some of the statistics as well and it's very nice to use so there is the example but i'll guide you through this example so first things first we're going to open brackets we go going to have our basic template and we're going to call this title we're going to call this google charts and what will happen is first of all we need to go and incorporate or include the library for this chart and it's actually this line here so script type text javascript source and the source is from gstatic.com charts loader.js that is how we include the library into our website so we're going to say script tag and we're going to say the source is from this website here so it's actually online so we're loading a library from a online source okay after that we will need to go and load that core chart package and we also need to go and set on load callback draw chart function so these two lines are also needed so if we go to our brackets inside our script tags where we go and write our own um, JavaScript, we need to go and load the actual chart. So on draw chart, that's our function. Let's go back to our um, example here. We have a draw chart function here. Now in this function, we will go and draw this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this as well and we're going to tweak it and make it to work on our own example. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize a little bit. Okay, so we've got a function called draw chart. Okay, so let's just indent everything first. Okay, so we've got a var data is equal to Google Visualization Array to Data Table. And what this actually is, is a variable that stores all the data that we want to go and do. So this is kind of like the tasks, okay? This is all the uh, categories that will be in our pie chart. So work, eat, commute, watch, TV, and sleep. 
okay and this is the hours per day that we spend on this 11 12 2 2 2 and 7 and then we have a var options is equal to title my daily activities now what this variable does is it actually stores a title for us and then um, we have a var chart is equal to new google vis visualization pie chart document dot get element by id pie chart and then we say chart dot draw data options so chart is now the actual chart that we um, going to draw we say dot draw this is the data variable there and the options is now the title that we go and include so var chart is a variable of type new google visualization pie chart and then we add the data into this visualization okay so how will we go and display this so we've got our script and everything ready and let's go back to our example so what they did here is they created a dev tag with an id pie chart a style this is now inline css they set this width to be 900 uh, pixels at 500 pixels so a diff, diff tag is just like a placeholder where we can go and store some data so let's go down so inside our body what we will do is i'm going to say diff id pie chart style width we do not, do not have to do this this is just css to make it in a certain way to display it in a certain way so let's keep it simple so what will happen now is it will hopefully display all these categories work eat commute watch tv and sleep for us on a google chart okay so when will this function be called this function will be called in when we run this line so this function is going to run because in our script we're already calling it okay so what you can do as well is we can add a button to call this function actually but let's wait so what i will do is let's quickly go and build and run this in our browser so as you can see our chart is actually there it gives us all these categories if you slide over them as well they will highlight and there's also extra information so what we can go and do as well is we can go and create a button element and we can say button of type button and we can make an on click event and then we're going to close the button and what we're going to do is we're going to call this line here on the on click okay so we are actually loading the chart and everything the function is ready but we're not going to call it yet we're only going to call it when we click on the button so now if we save this and we build and run you will see a button and this button has no text so let's first go and add some text to that button so i'm gonna create some text there display graph okay so i'm saving this and i'm running it in my browser again so i will have a button here display graph and if i click on it it will display my daily activities for me and that's it that's how we can use the um, Google chart library to go and display data very easily and very nicely on our web page without a lot of work going into it we just need to understand that we need to go and give some um, data to our data variable um, you can go and make this now dynamic and give it some input maybe input parameters for instance um, so there's a lot of things that we can go and do for instance let let me quickly go and do this as well just to show you a quick way of doing this so we can have an input um, an input box here 
and it's going to be type text and let's give it an ID of input one and I'm going to say, or well let's make this sleep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say sleep. Okay. And then inside this function, what I will do is I'm going to create a variable called sleep. And I'm going to say document dot get element by ID. And I'm going to get the element called sleep dot the value of that element. But I'm going to need to convert that to a actual value. So I'm going to use the parse int. Oops, parse int. Okay. So sleep is there. So what I will do here is I'm going to say this will be sleep. And then you can go and do this again and again. So let's quickly go and do this. So we've got work, eat, commute, watch TV and sleep. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. So the first one is um, work, eat, commute, TV and sleep. So let's call this work, eat, commute, TV and sleep is already sleep. And then we go up here and what I will do is I'm going to three, four, five. I'm going to make the first one work, uh, work, eat, eat, commute, commute, uh, it's going to be TV and TV and then work will be here, eat will be there. Commute will be here, and TV will be the next one. So hours per day. Okay, so now we've got some input boxes here. We run this, and now we will see um, a few things here. It's going to be disorganized because we need to add new lines. So let's quickly add new lines. BR. Okay. And after the button, I'm going to add to here. I'm going to save this and then run this quickly. Great. So now we've got work, eat, commute, TV, sleep. Let's say we work eight hours, we eat two hours, we commute one hour. So that's 11 hours. Uh, and we sleep for eight hours. So it's eight plus two is 10, 11, 19, and how many times? time is remaining so it's 10 11 19 so there's 24 hours so there's five hours for tv so if you display that you will see tv is there it's five hours and so forth and that's it that's how we would do um a pie chart using the google library and now we can make it interactive with our data and actually go and draw a nice looking pie chart. That's all for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something and I hope to see you soon.